so what I'm going to do is I got my shipment in from Sims today. I only ordered the other day and I'm all the way up in Pennsylvania. So they are just awesome at getting stuff to you right away. Okay, so what I did, I, there were some ribbons I was missing for upcoming signs. So what I decided to do was order extra. So if somebody else wanted um, some of this stuff, I'd have it on hand. So I'm going to kind of match ribbon and items to my, my signs. Like, okay, my blueberry one. Check out their blueberries. Look how big they are. Aren't they amazing? Let me see if I back this up a little. There we go. And stay in front of the light. It even has the little brown on there. Isn't that cool? Hi, Joy. So yeah, this will go really nice with my blueberry wreath. So I got a couple of blueberries. Then my strawberry sign is part of the farmhouse collection. Just under here. Okay, there's my strawberry sign. Check out that ribbon. I love this ribbon. Hi, Joy. So yeah, so that's going to go with my strawberry wreath. So I got a couple of those. I also, because I have two cow signs, which I've had a bunch of orders for the one today alone. Okay, we've got this one, which I put a bow on because Kathy Loops has a a really cute um, cow out there that she's making so her cow has a red bow at the top of the head so I went ahead and added the red bow so I can do with or without the bow all right so that's there so definitely because I've got my cows I had to go ahead hi Marty and add my cow ribbon all right so I got a couple of those because I know I got a roll somewhere. Do you think I can find it? Then because a lot of my signs, especially in the farmhouse collection, and I had a big roll of the gray, have this um, like gingham or seersucker it's called, seersucker fabric in there. So I went ahead and I bought extra so I can sell the signs with the ribbon too. But yeah, we've got the lavender. One has lavender, which I couldn't, I have purple, I think, downstairs. So I got blue, I got red, I got gray, I got pink. Um, that'll go nice with the blossom. I'm waiting on the ribbon, and I'll show it when I get it. I'm waiting on the ribbon from um, the Reese shop that has the burgundy, the green, and the cream in it. Um, Susan had it in her, when she did my magnolia sign, she had, where's my magnolia sign? She had, um, that ribbon and it went perfect with that apple blossom sign. It's over here. Bottom one. So yeah, she used this sign, but look matches perfectly so I got a bunch of that if you all missed Missy's um, live that she did today that's why I canceled my live because I wanted to see her do her gnome her bee gnome she had bought my bee gnome and bee sign that says be kind so that's why I canceled my live this afternoon and boy, wouldn't this look cute on some of the patriotic ones, too? Oh, and I got it in yellow, too. Awesome. Oh, and then the light blue, which goes really good with... Where's it at? That can go with the blueberry if I wanted it to. I know this kind of has green, but I can make it in blue also. There was another sign that that went with. Got so many signs now. Oh my gosh, I should have seen the order I took today. 
Okay, so we got extra of the yellow and blue. Oh, and look at this. This is going to go with a lot of stuff. Um, well, it could go with any of my signs, actually. And add the pink on there. Would that look farmhouse? Awesome socks. So I got a couple rolls of those because you can never have enough of this color. Hey, Ty, how are you? We're just going over my uh, my order from Sims. We're kind of matching it to signs. I mean, um, what I do is, I'm trying to find it. I usually take a sign and I pull colors out of it. Like you've got some brown in the background here. That would go cute with that sign. What else did I get? Oh. I can't remember this is this is black. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This would go really good with the mother signs too. You've got mothers are your first best friend. But I thought that was really different. It's kind of got the white weave in there. And then I got it in yellow too. Because there is so much I have here that I could use the yellow in. Um, I could also use it with this one. I could even use it with this one, with the lemon one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Hi, Will. Yes, right? There's so much you can do with these colors. And I tried to do a lot of neutral. I have like... Um, Okay, on the, on these signs, I already am stocked up on this check. I have it in all kinds of colors. So somebody will be able to order the sign and order 10 yards of the ribbon to go with it. Oh my gosh, look at that. That would even go with that. <gasps> look, I could even put the blue there to pull out the blue from the background. Virginia, were they the sister signs? I just took them to the post office. So you'll get those very soon. In fact, you could check the tracking on, um, you know, online. And look, we could pull that blue out of this one too. We could put it on this. We could pull the, bull, the blue, the yellow, pull some red. Oh my gosh, look. Look at that against that. Wouldn't that look awesome? Yes. I I mean, I, I thought, you know what? Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to do a live to show you how I put my colors together. I mean, what I actually do is I look at what I have, and then I look at the sign, and I say, okay, what are the dominant colors? You've got green and white. You've got the blue. You've got the yellow, and you've got the black. So that's how I pull all my colors out. I know, isn't it awesome? And this is kind of the same. This is actually just a little bit, I don't think that's white more, that's more so cream. But I thought some of my farmhouse signs, oh my gosh, this sign. I wish there was a way to set these up so I could just like go through them a lot easier. Look at this, okay? You've got some yellow here, all right? You could pull that yellow out. You could pull that tan out. You could pull the red out. Put some sunflowers in there to pull the sunflower because you've got a sunflower in the middle of the windmill. Boom, you've got your color combination. I'm missing some uh, comments here. So if I miss you, my mouse fell in the box. <laughs> if I miss you, I will go back and check out. But I thought, you know, it's time to start back at basics so people can see um, yes. Yes. 
Okay, that, that, I don't think that one went out yet. No, I have that, Virginia, I have it on the desk. I already printed the print, so tonight I'll be heat pressing it, and hopefully it'll go out first thing in the morning, if I don't have any puppy issues overnight. We had a litter of pups yesterday. I delivered three pups yesterday morning, so. All right, let's go on to some of the other colors. Now, look at this one. This will go with this. It'll go with this. It's actually like a beige, dark beige or a tan. Um, oh my gosh, you could do so many signs with this one. Like I said, it's so hard to sit here and choose which one I'm going to do. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, you've got this. Look at that color. So I tried to grab some neutral mesh that go with just about anything I have. All right. Then I have lemon, um, lemon ribbon. You could add that. You could add some black check ribbon. Okay. Okay. Now we've got the gray. Okay. That's got gray in it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These have gray in it too. The new um, farmhouse collection. I probably do, Virginia. I can go back through and kind of pull some to give you an idea. All right. But look at that. Then you can pull the yellow out of there to go with the daisies. Um, I've got daisy fabric. But really, okay, you could even use this stripe with it too. I'll, I'll go back and look. Now, I have all this in the big check, but I also have it in the small check. Look at that. Choose that, and then your cow ribbon with that. Look at that. Already there. Look. Wouldn't that be sharp? Y'all wouldn't mind spreading the love. I know. These, and they were awesome prices at Sims, and Sims is really good about shipping it right out. Like, I just ordered these, I think, on Sunday. So, all right. So, I got this one with the big dots. I also got it in the small. These are the Swiss dots. I like them. These are neutral. And see, that'll go with that. It'll go with this. Um definitely so I got it in the small also because again I have the huge ones so I wanted to go with small I got it in yellow because as you'll see some of my more whimsical ones I use this gingham border is what it's called let me move some of this stuff <laughs> I'm running out of room Okay. All right, so you've got, look, you've got that one, which you can use the, you can use this with it. You could use, you could even use this with it. And then you have the striped yellow ribbon. I even have this in the green. Now, actually the green I got the green stripe because, let me get some more room here. All right. I know I have it in purple. So here, look, with your um, frog sign. And these come personalized, so you can add your name to these. Hey, Rob. This all came from Sims, Kathy. Now you see how that matches that? Okay, you've got the green, so you could even go with the green stripe with the purple checks, okay? I think the rest I have all up here, but look. Now, I have the bike ribbon, but check that out. That would go really well, too. Hey, CJ. You need this at your house, Rob. We need to put your last name on there for you. 
these come personalized. Now this was an older sign I made before I dumped all my files and had to recreate everything. So now the welcome is up at the top and I posted a link to my Etsy shop so you can see the new one now has it up top and then it says to the land grieve pad, welcome to the land grieve pad. Well this here, I can personalize it for your, your home. Okay. And look at this. Okay. This would go awesome with the B. Got the black stripes. Now, check this out. Okay. You add that. You add that. You add this. Um, you know we all have the B ribbon. Then you could add this in there too. So you've got a stripe. You've got a plaid. And then this. I know, right? Ugh. I had to do this. Oh, look. I knew, okay, that can even go with that. Okay, so you've got the watermelon. You've got the stripes because you got this green around the border. you got the stripes in the watermelon. Then you can add the red check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Tomorrow is the day I have to take care of the downstairs because we had an overflow. That's why I'm up here in my in my sewing room because things are quite the mess down there. All right, this has some gray in it. This has some red. It has some blue, so you could use all those colors. You've got the black, so you can pull the navy out of there. Oh my gosh, you can use it with that too. Like I tried to pull stuff that was versatile, stuff that was neutral and could go with just about anything. Let me see what else we got here. Okay, you've got, okay, you've got the stripes in your stars, so you can use the red striped with your stars. Okay, plus I have a whole bunch of patriotic ribbon. And I still haven't finished my bee gnome. I'm trying, I'm trying. But we've got the stripes there. I've got stars. Okay. Um, that would even look good on there to kind of make it pop. You can pull the yellow out of the little flowers. I'm just trying to give you guys ideas. Um... Now see that wouldn't go against that because this is more of like has an orangey tint to it. So what would pull that out better is black. And I don't think I've seen this one used yet. Did you order anything good, Carol? Does that help? Is it? Oh, oh, okay. That could even go on that because you've got, you've got yellow in here. I have a real pretty peach. I thought about pulling the peach out and then using the green striped ribbon with the bike ribbon. This is the one I really want to do next. And I might do it on this. I don't know. This is that vintage um, postcard that I used. Got a little duck here in the corner playing in the puddle. And I could go with this color for that to pull out the yellow, but I have a gray downstairs. So I think I'm going to start with a red base and add some gray. Um, might even add some white. I think that would really be different. This looks good, I think, with this one. Or I could just use this as accents on the top and pull one of the darker colors for the base. Hi, Susan. Okay, that would work with that. 
I actually have a green down there. I might try with this one. And then, of course, we've got our horses. Let's see what we could... Now, that would look good on that. Or it would look good on this. You've got peach in here. You've got pink. You've got white. You've got yellow. You've got blue for the horseshoe. You've got the red. Um, so you could pull any colors out of this one. That would almost work with that, too. And then we've got our flamingo. This, I have a real pretty, like, um, I have a pink. I could pull out this purplish color here. You've got all kinds of things around here. I have a ribbon that also has the anchors on it that I could use with that. On the 4th of July noon, let's see. I have a navy down there that I thought about using on the base and then taking red and white curls and adding them to the navy base and then you can add this in there. Um, I have all kinds of ribbon downstairs with the uh, stars, the stripes. Um, so there's a lot you could do with this one. You could even use that against the black because you've got black in here. Um, throwing in some leopard never hurts because <laughs> you got that right here. So there's that as an option. Um, yeah, I think it was the, it was the blue I was going to go with and then do red and white curls, like bunches of curls. Okay. I'm hoping to get this done soon. I need to get this done soon. So let's see what else we got that we can show you. I think that's basically it. Let's see with this one. Okay, you've got the, the red truck on the blue background. I think this would look good on this one. Or I would do a red base and then I would do some kind of curl or ruffle with this one and then pull out the different colors. Um, you know, for ribbon. I've got some red truck ribbon. I'm actually working on a red truck patriotic one right now. Um, I have that ribbon in white with the red truck or I have it with beige and the red truck. So there's that. I'm not sure which material you were referring to. You'll have to refresh my memory. It's pretty bad. Okay, so there's a bunch of options. Um, let's see under here. I wish somebody would come out with a... Well, I bought the Swiss dots for this one, actually. I have Swiss dots in there in all kinds of colors. But I thought that might play off of some of the colors. We've got this red truck too Oops. that has um, make me want to take a back road. Now that would look nice against this here because you've got that color in the green of the background on the truck. Fourth of July noon, um, I ended up, I have to make my own because the flags I was waiting on, um, I did contact the company and I placed my order on the 4th of March. They are still working on orders that came in. Now, let me see. Now, I did the 4th of April. Yes, 4th of April. They still haven't shipped out orders from March 23rd yet. 
So that's what's holding me up. I have my hole punch that's coming in and I have not been able, I won't um, put a different hole in these. I have not been able to add the signs to my wreaths because I don't have the punch yet. So yes, wouldn't that be? And the apple blossom one, there's the strawberry. The apple blossom one, that ribbon, there you've got the lavender too. That would look good on there. Um, what is it? The apple blossom one is coming in from the wreath shop. So as soon as I get that, um, where it is. As soon as I get that ribbon in, I will show you that ribbon because that ribbon is going to make, it's just going to pull all those colors out of the sign. I just had it. Way too many signs. That's the problem. But it has, I showed it to you. It has the um, cream and it has the um, moss green and it has the um, burgundy so that will pull out all the colors in that sign too many signs it was just sitting here because I just showed it to y'all here it is oh my goodness Yeah, this one, the one that says Apple Blossom Orchard, it has all those colors in it. Look, you could put, you could put the cow in back of this one too, even because of the black and the beige. So yeah, I know, I know that would be an awesome one. So there you go. I'm just showing you some of my color choices and how I can't wait to use these, these blueberries. They're just an awesome size. So, oh man, I wish we had Smell-O-Vision. My husband is making rolls right now. I blew my keto diet big time. So, I gained back about six of the 20 I lost. Yes, that's that's going to be one of my favorites, especially when the ribbon comes in. That's just going to set that sign right off. All right. So if you have any questions, Kathy, do you have a, a retail license or a wholesale license? It's under Sims Pottery. Yes, he is, Missy. It's under Sims Pottery. So if you have that license, um, you can go online and set up an account. Oh, and it just smells incredible. He's, I think he's making cheese steaks for dinner. Woo. I posted a link to my Etsy shop in case anybody um, wants any of the signs. I just shipped out a ton of signs today. Um, the Bam Reese, she ordered some signs for me today. And who else was it? You're on here. <laughs> well, come on over, Missy. I know, right, Nanny Dot? Hi, Carol. Virginia. Yeah, Virginia ordered the gnome and the, oh my gosh, either one of these would go with that, that chicken sign. That's the only one I don't have on the table. Yeah, because that you, oh, that has the red in it. Um, it has the black diamonds too. So that was that would be a good one. 
Who else did I miss? Faith. Yes, Faith, I make all my signs. Um, hi, CJ. CJ likes the frog sign. He's one of my puppies, one of my babies. <laughs> so yeah, I, I do custom signs, I do personalized signs, I do license plates, I do um, children's room signs that I can personalize. They're all in my Etsy store. So, oh my gosh, wouldn't this look cute with the striped ribbon? I have Yorkie Mom, Yorkie Dad, Yorkie Mom in blue or white, or that was not one I wanted out here. So yeah, this is the one I'm anxious to do though, that the antique fair flea market one. I, I love um, the farmhouse look. That's like my favorite. Um, this is the sign I made for Missy that um, she requested. She wanted that to match her ribbon. And then I have a sign that I made to match this ribbon. This I picked up at Michael's last year. I really like that. Thank you. You're gonna have some fabulous ones too. So yeah, so that's my my haul, and I have the ribbon coming in with the reshop that'll go with that. So as soon as I get that, I'll I'll share that. Let's see. Thank you, Joy. Ah, I have to check it out. Well. So sorry I was able, I, I know I didn't have time today to do anything before um, Missy's live, but, um, you know, we've been changing the internet over, I've had printers breaking down, I have a label printer on order, it's not here yet, so it's been a shipping nightmare today, but we're done till tomorrow <laughs> so yeah if you guys need anything let me know I don't have extra of the mesh um, but I'm sure if Sims carries it the reshop will carry it or um, trendy tree because craft outlet isn't shipping you are so welcome Missy that was an awesome awesome um, bee swag Missy did my B gnome and B sign. And you know, I really didn't think that the mesh was going to be on target, but it was. It, the ribbon, everything was on target. That's the plan to sell the signs with matching ribbon. Um, I have a lot of 50 yard rolls, so, um, you know. All, I tell everybody all the time, just ask. If you want to want me to show you the sign and then show you what I think would match it, um, I can do that. That's why I ordered extra of these. And I ordered the 50-yard rolls of these <coughs> because they're on most of my signs. And I just had to have this. This in the one and a half inch and and the two and a half inch. <coughs> I I did that a couple of times. Um, sold the wreath kits, but I just thought you know a lot of people have the mesh right now, so I can just add ribbon, a roll of ribbon. And do it that way it's easier for shipping um, you know anybody can get a wreath base so so there you go that was my stash and that looked like baby colors and I have a it's a boy and it's a girl sign coming out soon too so 
We've got a patriotic red truck sign coming out, the boy and girl sign, and there's one other sign I'm forgetting. But there you go. So I think I've given you some ideas. Thank you, Will. All right, guys, I'm going to head out because it's going to be dinner in about 15 minutes. And it is smelling so good. You guys stay safe, too. And thanks for watching, and thanks for spreading the love. I really appreciate it. And um, Virginia, I'll go back through the sign and show you some of the ribbon I have. If you could let me know what um, mesh you're going to use. Um, then I can pull some ribbons for you, okay? Yep. And I sell it by the yard, okay? Do you know what color mesh you're going to use, Virginia? On this one? So I have a lot of patriotic... Excuse me, a lot of patriotic ribbon. Plus, I now have this ribbon. That would go good with it. That would actually work for either the chicken or the, the gnome. Okay.